A, consider and appropriate approved appointments. Thank uh, you, Mr. President. We've got uh, several to uh, appoint teaching positions. We have Rachel Bennett, uh, first grade teacher at FU, uh, Robert Kale, uh, business education teacher at Jasper High School, Chris Horn, uh, who was with us last year, decided to come back as a LA teacher at Parnell, Mallory, Mallory Horton, uh, was our teacher at Jasper High School, uh, Bruce Johnson, Choir Music at Jasper High School, Ron Mays, uh, Special Education Teacher at FEW, William Sammons, Special Education Teacher at Jasper High School, Melissa Smith, Kindergarten Teacher at FEW Primary, and Amber Bell-Seen at uh, FEW Primary Teacher, or third grade, excuse me. The administration recommends the board approve the appointments as presented. Recommendation for the board, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Mr. Sales. All those in favor? I've got a question. Okay. Um, in keeping with form, um, how many of these are first time teachers and those that are not? What districts might they be coming from? Let me run down a list real quick here. Rachel Bennett, um, Pineland address, uh, been teaching in West Sabine for some time, uh, Robert Hale. He's a local guy. He used to work in Kirbyville, uh, closing his printing company. Wants to come back to education. Chris Horn, he had resigned in Maine, wants to come back to Cornell. Um, Mallory Horton, Orange Address, she's new to the profession. Uh, Bruce Johnson, um, very exper experienced choir teacher. He's moving to Jasper. He was formerly in uh, Brazosport and Humble. Bonnie Mays. Relocating to Rayburn, uh, taught in Louisiana for a long time. William Sammons, uh, he is living in Leesville, and his wife is, I believe, there as military and wants to teach special ed force. Melissa Smith, Comus Neal, uh, address, formerly of Ron Rock Christian Academy, where she taught last year, and Amber Belsine, uh, formerly of Beaumont ISD, where she taught there for two or three years, and she's moving to Woodville. Okay. I just would like uh, to also go on the record, and, and Dr. Scoos and I have discussed this. Um, I have a real concern about approving bulk personnel, um, which is one reason I, I'd like to ask the question of where they're coming from. I would really like to know why they're no longer where they're coming from, but uh, that's a different subject matter for a different day. Um, so, uh, anyway, that was the reason for, for my question, is just I'd like to know where they're coming from, because I, I would hate for one to slip through where we just blindly approve a group of personnel. Uh, I'd just like to know. Background checks on all those people? Yes. No, I'm sure we do. There's a 12 step process that principals go through to make a recommendation. <laughs> you have questions? All those in favor? All those opposed? You in favor? I, I vote in favor. Motion carries 6 0. All right, next item will be. Uh, consider and appropriate approved contract adjustments. Dr. Schuetzen. A couple of contract adjustments for the board to approve regarding some changes in uh, <clears throat> positions. We have Kimberly uh, Botin was recommended as a 209 consular contract for 1516. Administration is recommending a change from a 209 consular contract to a 217 to reflect her added duties as lead consular at Jasper High School. Uh, Jacqueline Martin. I was recommended for a 187 day teacher contract, 15 16. Administration recommended the contract take change to a 209 council contract to replace uh, this multi spot. And uh, Betty Taylor, who was uh, previously administrator in a previous district, uh, is teaching third grade over at uh, FEW. She was recommended for a 187 contract, and uh, Ms. Hale was recommending her as, uh, for a 206 to fill the assistant principal vacancy over. Recommends the contract adjustments as presented. Recommendation for the board, sir. Motion. So, Mr. Seal. Sir, 
a second. Second. Mr. Sales, any questions? If I'm if I'm reading this correctly, Miss Martin will be reporting directly to Mrs. Is that correct? Actually, she reports to Commissioner Smith. They'll, they'll work in conjunction with the council and department. Correct, Mr. Smith? Correct. Well, then why have a lead counselor if, if no other counselor is going to report to the lead? I'm, I'm, so we have a council, we have a lead counselor, so they're there, they're the, the 217, and they're also charged with uh, valid sale, ranking, and all the things that apply to that. So the lead just has additional duties as compared to the other one? Correct. So you've got a counselor with more job and a counselor with, that does other, just the counsel? Correct. Okay. And what's their grade level split, Mr. Smith? So 9 10, 9 10, 9, 10, 9, 10 11, 11, 12. Lead counsel takes 11 and 12. Okay. Any other questions? All those in favor? No opposed. Motion carries 6 0. Next item will be report items. A is resignations. Information item only by Dr. Scusa. Uh, no teacher resignations to report. We have one resignation from a paraprofessional at Jasper Junior High who was actually hired in July and has come to us and said she was on a job elsewhere. Thank you, Dr. Susan. With that, I need a motion to close. 